Step one, please take your ruler and lay it across your paper, approximately in the middle of your paper. Very faintly, we are going to draw the edge of the ruler, the straight line, edge to edge of our paper. It should be very faint, you can barely see it. Next step, about an inch in from each edge of your paper, just place a little dot. These represent the inside and outside of our eye. We want to draw the eye very, very large. Next, on the left-hand side, where your dot is, you are going to draw what I refer to as a parentheses. So it's going to be a curved line. Next, we are going to create a curved line coming from our parentheses. This will be the top of our eye shape and it's going to end on the dot to the right. So very lightly, and if you see I am doing small sketch lines, very soft hand pressure by holding my hand further back on the pencil. So if I make a mistake, if I do not like the line, I can very easily erase it without having tons of dark lines. Okay, so a curved line from the parentheses to the outer dot. Once you finalize your line and you like it, you may slightly darken it and erase any extra lines that you do not need. Okay, next we are going to do the same thing but at the bottom. So underneath, starting from the parentheses, I am going to draw a curved line. Comes down below. the outer corners. <clears throat> Good. And once you finalize your line, you may slightly darken it, not too, too dark, but slightly darken it with a final line, and you can erase any extra lines you don't need anymore. Okay. This is our eye shape. Now the eye is an opening in your face, inside is your eyeball, and skin has a thickness to it. So we are going to add another parallel line, so a line that runs the exact same way below our first line and above our second line. So I'm going to start on the outside corner, and very close to my first line, I'm now going to draw a parallel line. And this represents the thickness of our skin. It will also help us when we are drawing in the eyelashes. Okay, now when I get to the corner where my parentheses is, I'm going to taper it so it's going to go into my original line. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Draw a parallel curved line above your original line. And when I get to our parentheses, I again am going to taper the line into our original. Excellent. Next, right by our parentheses, we are going to draw a larger parentheses, which will represent the piece of pink that we have in the corner. It is a gland. Here we go. So we now know that the left-hand side is the inside of our eye, and the right-hand side is the outside of our eye. So that is step number one.